Now back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Gaston's White River Resort, and Barton Power Sports. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. This is the Bill Cooksey Show. <laughs> on, uh, no, wait, wait just a minute. Hold just a minute. We're the, I, I got carried away. Come on, yeah, no, 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 no. And uh, that was, uh, we're having fun here on this Saturday, April the 25th, uh, the last Saturday of the month, uh, which means that Bill is in here, even though he had to put out the latest edition of the Mid-South Hunting and Fishing News, which uh, I'm looking forward to. Uh, me too. And uh, that's that's Ron with me too over there. I forgot to introduce him. He doesn't need introduction, introducing, you know, at all. <laughs> Everybody knows that voice. But uh, Pat Calmerton is with us this morning. Good morning, Pat. Hey, good morning, gentlemen. How are we? And we're doing great. Well, if, if, if you recognize that voice, he's not from Fraser. Okay. All right. He's not from Millington. He's east. He is from where, Ron? Uh, Memphis, Tennessee. No, not you. Where is Pat from? <laughs> Sheboygan. I know it's early, Ron. Sheboygan. Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Okay. Or close to it. He's actually to, 230 he? miles from it. Is that right? Yeah, well, during the spring, winter, and fall, I'm about 2.30. But other than that, I'm in Sheboygan all summer long. So, there you go. Yeah, right? Somewhere here up in Wisconsin. That's where I'm from. Well, you spent you spent uh, enough time down here recently to vote. You know, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, Pat Pat was Pat is a uh, uh, Wolf Pack Adventures um, uh, based out of that uh, little pond up there uh, near Chicago and. Uh, Lake Michigan, mm-hmm. and uh, but he was also with us at uh, at Gaston's media gathering, and uh, and uh, has been there for the past uh, what two years now, Pat? Yes, sir. This was my third year. Third it's year. A trip that I look forward to every year. Well, and he's asked me, you know, you're back next year, Pat. You just come on down there because you you add a lot of uh, color. Absolutely. Yeah, he is really part of our team now, and. Uh, Spent uh, some time at Gaston's, then scooted on over to North Mississippi, as I told the folks. Uh, the wonderful uh, Woods family from uh, near Holly Springs, uh, Bob Woods and his son Robert, uh, took care of not only Pat, but Pat's dad. Um, uh, Chris Jennings was there from DU. Ron Wong was there. I was there. Uh, oh, great time, and thanks to Mike Jones from the state uh, tourism the uh, Folks uh, getting us some license and stuff, and uh, and then, like I said, we pick up our Mid South Hunting and Fishing News from this latest edition. And who's on the cover? There's Pat. There's Pat looking at a spring crappie. And uh, I, I would have thought you guys could have found somebody better looking, but I'm honored to be on there. Well, the, the fish, the fish <laughs> well, is actually it says it says well, here it is. It says it's got you in a picture of a crappie, and it says Pat Calberton on left. You know, so, no. I, <laughs> well, no. Here's the thing about covers: you don't want to put too pretty of people on the cover of a hunting or fishing magazine, or it that's upsets why folks. It makes that's why them jealous. I never, that's why I never make it on the cover. Well, Pat, you're on the cover. Well, Ron, you're ugly. That's why. <laughs> you're you're, you're okay, on the cover the Ron with, with your show Ray Bill cap now. showing. <laughs> oh, Pat. Well, anyway, we're glad to have you on this morning. Tell us a little bit about uh, the experience at Gaston's for us. Well, I'll tell you what, I've, I've been all over the country, guys, and that that right there is a operation and a destination that if you have never uh, never been there, you have to put it on your bucket list. The, the accommodations there is first class between the cabins, and, you know, it almost feels like you're, you're right at home. And the minute that you drive into the property, um, I mean, it's, it's gorgeous scenery. The river is running right through the back end of it. Keith and Troy over in the in the restaurant. I mean, they they make sure that you are. Yeah, bring in that restaurant because I think this group ate some food while they were there. Absolutely. Oh man, I'll tell you what, dude. <laughs> not very many destinations that you go in this world trout fishing, and you got the accommodations, and uh. you can uh, you can pick out anywhere from a ribeye steak to a lobster tail to uh crusted pork chops yeah there you go the, that's enough there you go we're hungry we're hungry uh, yeah. i'll tell you what i'm a fat kid i'm from wisconsin i like talking about food but you haven't mentioned the shore lunch i mean they have a little shore lunch oh, uh, fried, oh, I was fresh getting there. oh you were getting there. getting there because the shore lunch i've never seen anything like it you know you get there and they they take that fresh fish from that morning that you actually harvested yourself and they clean it up, and they, they cook it up with, uh, you know, a bunch of fixings. 
And you're they, learning the lingo. Fixins, he's learning he's the lingo. Learning, that's that's not, that's not lingo. a Wix. Uh, you don't. Uh, I know that Pat has a, a, a been a guide for. Uh, how long have y'all been in operation, Pat? Well, we've been up here for 22 years, chasing fish and, and birds and everything else. And uh, man, I, you got me all fired up on that shore watch. I'm kind of dumbfounded <laughs> right now thinking about that cobbler that they serve you. Oh yeah, the Dutch oven cobbler. But I know when you went and the more, everybody's going to wonder this because we're talking to Pat Calberton from Wolfpack Adventures uh, out of Wisconsin. Uh, the, the hookup with the Woods family is kind of a neat little story, too, you can tell, Pat, because how you got ro- hooked up with Robert uh, and how in the world somebody from Wisconsin get hooked up with somebody from Holly Springs, Mississippi. Well, people like to fish. You know, it's one of them where uh, Mr. Woods and his son, Robert, they came up to the EAA the, um, air show up here in Oshkosh, uh-huh. and they were, they were there for a few days, and they picked up all my business cards and decided to give me a call and I was uh, I was harping up on the on the top deck of the boat. You know, I'm pretty boisterous. Well, <laughs> yeah. I was on the no. phone with them on their inquiry, and a bunch of fish started taking off. And I got excited, and they said, we got to do this. So they took an afternoon and drove over to Sheboygan. We went out salmon fishing. And um, when, we were, when we were out there, we started BSing a little bit, and you know, I get uh, I get people from all over the country offering me to come over and hunt and fish their their properties uh-huh. and stuff. And there was just something about these gentlemen that really intrigued me. Yes. Um, you know, in the, in the five hour fishing trip that we had, we we hit it off pretty well. And I thought to myself, Gosh, I, I really I really like these gentlemen. And you know, that southern hospitality that they had. It's just yeah. The conversations that we were having, and. Uh, Next thing you know, your next thing you know, you're hooked up. You're coming down here, and uh, you learn. Uh, I'll tell you, uh, the Woods family. Uh, in my time with Robert, uh, I, I, he every, everything was yes, sir. That I, I really felt. Uh, really, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, when you go uh, and meet some folks for the first time, and uh, you're treated like uh, with respect and things along that Absolutely. line. Everything's on the up and up, and. Uh, and, and, of course, Robert, uh, as, as we said, is a graduate of Briarcrest here and uh, runs the family farm. His dad was in an accident, uh, uh, and uh, he's right there with him. Uh, Mr. Bob, I didn't get to meet him, but I, I did meet Robert, and I met uh, Rod, some other folks down here. Great time, and, uh, Pat, I really appreciate you uh, setting this up. I know that you were down there for a reason. Uh, you, you were trying for the hat trick, and, uh, and you got tricked instead, I think. Uh, I'll tell you what, it, yes, sir. The uh, I went down there. My ultimate goal was to do a hat trick of weaponry in one state. Yeah. So cool. after I got done, you know, filling my uh, my need over at Gassins and loving that trip, I had <laughs> over. I met, uh, met you guys over in northern Mississippi there, and my my ultimate goal is to go into a state and Mississippi allows three birds, one a day, three in total. And um, what I wanted to do is take one and harvest one with a compound bull, running and gunning with the Tenzin pack and a, a compound bull. Yeah. And then I wanted to turn around and use my crossbow, you know, use a, uh, use a crossbow on bird number two and bird number three I was hoping to take with my shotgun. And uh, you still, that's, that's still your goal, right? Still on that, the bucket list. That is still on my bucket list. <laughs> I, I did not succeed. I, uh... I came up short, but it wasn't for the lack of birds. The birds were oh, the birds were what? there. Yeah, the birds. Oh, the birds were there. They they definitely had the heart boiling the whole time. I mean, I was close enough to to hear them spitting and drumming. I was close enough to have that hair on the back of your neck stand up <laughs> when they gobbled right behind you. Yeah, Bill knows uh, all about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I and I had to experience that too with even with Robert. To, uh, the bird that uh, that I did miss, and uh, uh, and it was a, w- a wonderful experience. And I knew that Pat, uh, I think we may have fed him too well at Gaston's. <laughs> you know, that cut into his uh, his no, reflexes were a little dull. Yeah. Well, uh, wait a minute. He ate pretty good in the Oxford area too. Oh, he did. We're oh, back on oh, food. Oh, we're yeah. back on food again. Yeah. Yeah, we're back on food. Because Anybody I, that goes to Taylor Grocery. Yeah. Oh my God. How was how was the Como Steakhouse, Pat? 
Mexican Cobo Steakhouse was phenomenal. You know, they walk <laughs> oh, in the door and they're, they're cooking the steaks right there in front of you, and your mouth is watering before you even sit down. And uh, how's it good? How's it feel to be back home? I, I mean, do you have to re enlist again up there? I mean, uh... <laughs> <laughs> my wife did recognize me while I walked through the door. I'll tell you what. Well, we'll send her the copy of this so she can see <laughs> Pat with the big crappie. Hey, Pat. So, hey, <laughs> Don't do that. Don't send her the copy. She'll know. I tell her when I'm on the road, I do nothing but eat bread and potatoes. Oh, no, no. There you uh, go. Yeah, that's good. Well, Pat, uh, buddy, we appreciate you for being with us again. Thank you for the great time. Glad you could come to Gaston's, and uh, we'll stay in touch. And uh, let's do that again next year. Uh, Ron wants to say one thing. Well, I just want to say, Pat, if somebody is interested in doing something in the outdoors, hunting or fishing yeah. up in your area, how do they get a hold of you? Well, I'm surprised you can't hear me from there, but the <laughs> easiest way to do it is you can look at our website. It's wolfpackadventures.com. Yes. Or uh, or just pick up the phone. It's 920-918-WOLF. 920-918-9653. Yeah, I didn't realize that wolf was in there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, we got marketing majors up here, too. Well, that is true. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Pat Calvin, thank you, buddy. We'll talk to you. Have a great one, okay? Sounds good, guys. Be safe in the woods and on the water. Okay, thank you, buddy. All right, let's take a break on Outdoors with Larry Ray, and it's that time again, hopefully, that that one special lady will come <laughs> cha cha in the room on Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790. You can find